You got to be responsible for everything that can happen. They can either hand it off or they can give it to, uh, they can take it with the quarterback. So either way, you got to have multiple guys on each guy. Um, and sometimes people just, you know, fundamentals kind of break down or people go on different guys. Mm -hmm. Stopping passes out, sorry, go ahead. Go stopping passes out of the backfield for the linebackers, that's probably one of the tougher yeah. things. Yeah, I mean it's pretty tough. Um, you know, you got a really fast running back coming out, you, come, coming out on you, and you can do a, a bunch of different routes on you. And sometimes you got a man to man. So I mean, it's not a thing we have to work down here coming out. I mean, generally speaking, they're probably going to have more speed than you. Linebackers, running backs usually do. Yeah. So, so how do you combat that? I mean, how can you combat? That? Hey, you just got you go back. Uh, you know, to fundamentals, focus in on on the keys of what you need to look at at a running back when he's coming out, um, and where you have help. If you have any help from any other defensive players, um, and then where you can lean if you can lean somewhere um, to try to protect yourself from him going one way since you're going to have to be almost you know your step behind him um, wherever he makes a play so really just focus on what you have to do and what you have to focus in on him uh, whether it be you know right right up the middle on his um, on his belly button focus on where he's going or whether it be you know understanding what defense you got around you you grew up a Hawkeye fan? Yeah. Okay. So you probably know a ton of Hawkeye fans. Do you, uh, is there, do you, what would your message be to them to tell them to keep believing in the Hawkeye program? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we're coming out every, uh, you know, every game and trying to give it our all um, here, and you know, hopefully we can we can come against Michigan, you know, come out with a win um, with how hard we're playing. You know, we're just going to keep on staying focused and keep on being driven. When things go bad, people on the outside want to come up with reasons why they're not not going as well as, as you guys would hope. From from the inside, what are you seeing? I mean, is it is it one thing? Is it a multitude of things? Uh, I mean, I, I think I go back to those small details a bunch of the times. Um, I just talk about, you know, people doing their own job, um, staying focused on their keys. So I think that's a big thing we have to do this week is just, you know, stay focused on what your job is and be able to do your job at the best level you can and not try to do anybody else's job. And, you know, if you do somebody else's job, you're going to put everybody else out of position. So if you do your own job, it'll be fine. During the broadcast on Saturday, Lisa Byington, the Big Ten Network reporter, said that you guys lacked energy. It didn't seem like there was leadership on the sideline. It seemed like Kirk was the only one that was, you know, trying to get guys going. Um, where do you feel the leadership is this year? It was such a big part of last year's team. Where do you think it's at this season? What do I think the leadership is? Yeah, where do you think it's at? Do you feel like that's an, a, an accurate portrayal of you guys? I think you can always improve on leadership. I think you can always be better at it. I think, uh, you know, there's never there's never the best leadership out there. You can always give more. Um, you can always lead people more, and people can always follow better. Um, so, I mean, we're trying to keep on working on that. We're just trying to keep on getting better every week as we go. Is there anything you can do or say, like, you know, Sunday when you come in after a loss like that, you're one of the captains, do you, do you get into guys? How, how do you? I think you try to keep people motivated, um, keep on coming out every day and giving it their all. I think that's the biggest thing we need to stay focused on right now is, you know, give it, give it 100% every day during practice, um, during the lifts, um, and during the game day. Are you able to shove out the negativity that's obviously on the outside now? Yeah, I mean, the negativity, you kind of just put it away. I mean, you use it a little bit on Sundays um, to get back and, you know, look what you did wrong and try to get better. Um, but then after that, you're just trying to look ahead and trying to look forward um, to what's the next game and what's what you can get better at. Thanks,